everybody. It's Boots and Bows Outdoors. My name is Millie. I'm here solo, though Jim's around somewhere. Um, we've been doing some planting videos lately, and I wanted to follow up with some special planting. Um, I know a lot of you out there have been getting these cute little seeds from China. So I've gotten three in. Most people on Facebook have said, throw them away, don't open them. But the problem is, I actually did order seeds, and I think they were coming from China, uh, months and months and months ago. I was on a Facebook blessings page, which was awesome, awesome people. And in that, I had put two seed items on my wish list. One was watermelon seeds and they were not supposed to be shipped until July and one of these packages came around that time but there's no nothing on it to say that's what it is and then the other one was a mixture of succulents which somebody else did take off the list but again it wasn't going to be shipped for like ever so like later in the summer so I'm thinking that some of these seeds are maybe my succulents and my watermelon and one does look like watermelon but the labels are really funny so I just thought wouldn't it be a hoot to go ahead and plant the seeds and see what comes up won't that be funny now I am a little nervous because they are you know seeds from China there's no identification on them except for my name and address doesn't say who they're from usually on the blessings page there's some sort of note on the inside that says hope you have a great day from either anonymous or the person who blesses you will name uh, who they are well there's none of that inside of these so I don't know what to do so I decided I would go ahead and plant them but I am gonna wear rubber gloves to plant them just in case because I don't know what's really on the inside and I'll show you the labels as we um, we get closer to planting. There were three packages, and I am using the eight carton starting trays that we did with our fall garden. And what I did on my labels, I marked where the seeds came from so that I could match them up to the label on the package. And then two of them came from, I can't pronounce it, something China. And one said uh, jewelry, and the other said decoration, garden decoration. So I think the garden decoration might be the succulents, maybe. Jewelry, no idea. And then the other one from another place in China, said, um, wait, where, wire connector, it's not a wire connector, so I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if that has anything to do with getting through customs, and maybe they have to call it something, I don't know, I don't know, but I just thought it would be kind of fun to see what does grow, uh, because they are seeds, I think there's something, all right, so our first one is this package um, and this is the one that says jewelry uh, if you can see it there you go there's my label Let's see if I can I'm really horrible with rubber gloves I have a hard time functioning all right the seeds are inside of a little plastic bag and I am not gonna be able to get this open with the gloves and I don't know if I want to keep them anyway all right, so this was the jewelry. So this is gonna be on this side. Of course, there's no planting directions like on our fall crops. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, all I keep thinking is something like the plant from Little House of, what is that called? Oh, uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop of Horrors. There, Jim's here. Little Shop of Horrors and that, you know, people-eating plant, and that's what's going to come out. That would be not funny at all. All right. 
So I used up all those seeds. I don't know how many went in there or where they went specifically. All right, so the middle section is the one that said garden decoration. That's this one. There you go. All right, and again, nothing on the inside except the seeds. So no note, and there's a lot of these seeds. A lot of them, and that's what they look like, 500 of them. All right, can you open them for sure. me? Since Jim's here, we'll let him open. Of course, he has no gloves on, so if they're toxic, yeah, I don't have a gloves or a mask. I may have something, Corona or something, pop up in my face. All right. I was going to, ooh. That's a whole lot in that one. I know. But I can't, <laughs> I can't deal with the, the gloves. The gloves are too big. It was bottom for my hands. Right. All right. Well, I don't really care. Let's see what just happens. All right. Here, can you seal that back up? Yeah. And then... I think we... you still have about 300 left. Yeah, I think we're okay. I'm really... Was that the one that said garden decoration? I'm really hoping that's my succulents, but I would have thought they would have looked different because it was an assorted... What did it say, Gordon? Oh, it's it. on yeah. the label. Yeah, Gordon Decoration. So uh, I'm really hoping that's what that is. And then value five dollars. That might be. That might be them. That might be them. All right. And then. Oh, now I got confused. You, you see, you confused me. Okay, so then this one is the wire connector. So that's. That'd be that. pretty cool if you can grow wire connectors and jewelry. And you see, look. What does that look like? That looks like watermelon, watermelon seeds. Seed. I, I think get... it's my watermelons. You got a what? Get scissors. Oh. Can you just tear? Uh, I don't know. Well, you get scissors. I really hope it's my watermelon, but I don't, I'm yeah. pretty sure this is not the time to be planting watermelon. No, so I wouldn't use them all in case it is watermelon and they turn out to be good watermelon. This watermelon take a long time. Yeah. You know, when I thought about wearing rubber gloves, I did not think about how difficult it is to function in rubber gloves that are way too big for you. They're way too big for her, and I have trouble getting them on. But that was the largest size they had. Okay, so we are all planted. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to mist these down. I'm not going to put them where we have our fall garden crop going, but I am going to put them somewhere and I am going to tend to them and I'm going to see if they grow and who knows in a couple months or a month or so, I maybe give you an update on the seeds from China. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Quick little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's see what happens. Did anybody else out there grow these seeds from China? Or did you just pitch them in the trash can like everybody told you to? Hmm. Alright. Um, if you liked it, like the video, comment please, let me know, hit that notification bell, hit the subscribe button. All those cool things that every YouTube person tells you. Um, this is Millie and Jim over there. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye.